Hey, today we're trying to flash an updated firmware onto my uh, Android TV box. The box I bought is a clone of the Metricom Midnight uh, MX2 box. This is the bo this box is called MX box, and uh, actually the model number is called AML8726. If you go to the settings of your box and click about media box on the left and on the right side it shows these if you go down to model number here it should show you MBX reference board G18 ref if you see that that's probably the same box as mine now on the box itself it doesn't show you anything so you have to go into the settings and see this this board and uh, to identify if this is the correct model for you and um, if you look at the box here I'll show you this is the box the MX a exact looks like the Metricom MX2 almost exact copy on the front the only indicator on the side media cards USB ports on the back, power, Ethernet, and uh, HDMI, and AV, all these, this, this thing, on this side nothing. So if that's the board, that's the box, and that's what you have. So we're going to go to geekbuying.com to find this box and download the firmware. and. Uh, I'll, I'll include a link in my in my video so that you can find that um, the, the firmware file you can download. And once then, once downloaded, and uh, I'll give you instruction how to do this. Okay, so we have downloaded the firmware, and uh, it came in a uh, zip file. And uh, what you do is you need a SD card or use USB drive but uh, the instruction says SD, file, uh, SD card so I'll use SD and it's bigger than 512 so you need at least 1 gigabyte SD and you unzip it and put all the files in the uh, it should be 4 files one zip file one boot image and some other crap so these four files you put in the root directory of this SD card and what you do is with the box you unplug the power okay but leave the uh, obviously leave the HDMI cable on so you can see what's going on and you put it in the SD port And what you're supposed to do, the, the instruction is badly written, so what you're supposed to do is push the reset button, which it doesn't mention anything about uh, where to locate the reset button or recovery button. Uh, after doing some research, it's actually in inside, supposed to be inside SD, SPDRF. Okay, I use a pin or toothpick to click that, so I, I got some kind of a pen tip, see if I can insert it in there to touch that button, see if that works. Okay? And so while you're pressing this reset or recovery button, keep it pressed and plug in the power. And wait until the power goes on, it's in recovery mode, then you release the reset button. So let's try this. Let me first try to push this in there, see if there's a button inside. goes very deep though. I'm not even sure it's there. Okay, we're going to need something longer than this. Okay, now we got it working. It's, if it's in this mode, it means the recovery mode is working. But, like I said, the instruction was so badly written, I had to try a few times. So, here's the secret. If I move this up a bit, I said 
the recovery button or reset button is located inside this SPDIF, right? No, it's in the instruction, but it's incorrect. So there are, apparently there are several versions of this box. Some of the recovery buttons are located inside this AV. So just now I push the pin inside. It goes very far all the way to inside the box. That's not correct. So try the AV button, AV port, put the pin in there, felt something click. That's where the recovery button is located. So use the pin, stick in there, hear the click. So press it down, hear the click, then plug in the power. After system boots up, shows this robot mode, release the pin. It's pretty hard to press, so if you're just one person, uh, try to put it on the put, put it on the side, push it in pin, and the other hand plug in the power and keep it pressed until it comes up. Pretty hard to do, but now it works. Okay, so the update is finished. Uh, as you can see, after right after the robot mode, this is the first screen you see, and this is going to be a user guide. And remote works by the way. So choose the language, English. Next. Oh, what's this? Anti uh, white borders. So this is, this is the screen. I think the screen is okay. Until the white borders appear on the edge of the screen. So use up and down arrow key okay so we're gonna adjust and this the white borders hundred percent I think it's okay choose Wi Fi Anyway, this this uh, this thing works. Uh, so you might ask, like now I have to reset all my Google account, all the uh, the Kodi add-ons, everything. Why oh why do I have to go through all this trouble if my box is working? Well, if it's working, then you probably don't don't have to. Uh, I have been delaying this uh, update for a year now. And why that's required now is that after I installed Kodi 15.0, the Isengard, now some of my videos are not uh, not playing. And I checked uh, online; it's due to the firmware is not updated. So if you're experiencing video not working, you have to tinker with the hardware acceleration menu to make it work or your audio is out of sync with the video then it's not uh, Cody's fault or so they claim that it's actually manufacturer's fault for not updating the firmware so this is what you have to do to make your video smooth and also the, uh, one of the problems I experienced before is that when I play HD movies it's zoomed in when you use 1080p mode on your TV and apparently it cannot do a 1080p so it, it is, it's played in 720p and the, the screen is zoomed in so you're not seeing the whole picture so all these issues hopefully will be addressed in a later version of the firmware so this version I just updated is 2014 December so hopefully this will resolve all these issues there you go. Thank you.